Hello, and welcome back to the Urban Pharmacy Podcast. We have some cool guests today. It is my friend Aaron and Dusty Stanzik from Eat, Move, Rest. This is an amazing brand that I have been following for years, and I wanted to get Aaron and Dusty's stories and really learn more about how Eat, Move, Rest can help you too. Before we get into this episode, I want to introduce you to Aaron. She is a type A organized gal, and she has a huge passion for color and creativity and artistic expression. She began her health journey towards the end of college and after experiencing a handful of odd and disheartening symptoms that doctors said were undiagnosable or able to be treated, she got a lot of anxiety and had panic attacks and hormone balances and um, weight gain. And then she was led to the whole food plant-based way of living, moving her body, finding time to rest. And she shares her healing story in this episode. Now her husband, Dusty, is like her sidekick. They're sidekicks together and they have an amazing family and they all work together to create this beautiful brand to help people feel more alive. And Dusty is a lover of the outdoors. He loves trail hiking and salty swims and uh, biking his bike up the mountains. He has a really big commitment to staying active and that inspires him to, you know, stay hungry for growth as well. He wants to live a really full life. He doesn't want to be dying here. He wants to be full of life and living the dream. He loves taking risks and flying by faith as well. He also enjoys eating a plant-based diet for his top physical health and really prioritizes mental health as well. You are going to be so inspired by Aaron and Dusty, and I hope that you end up following them and adore and love them just as much as I do. But I want to be sure you know about the Vegan Health Bundle. It is available only through March 10th of 2024. So we have a very limited time to get this. This is the best bundle of the year. You're going to have resources, tools, courses, eBooks, and so much more to get you on the path to better living. This entire bundle is whole food, plant-based, and free of added oil. And in addition to recipes and batch cooking and organization, you're also going to have mind-body connection and mindset and raw food and just a whole gamut of things that are going to help you elevate your wellness. It's not just food, but it's what goes into your daily living. It goes all the way into habits and so much more. So I really hope that you check out and get the bundle it's $50 for over $8,000 worth of content to help you not just survive, but to thrive. It is your time to step into your next chapter and to live at your higher level. And the Ultimate Vegan Health Bundle will help you get there. So click down in the show notes to grab your bundle for only $50 today through March 10th. And then after that, it's gone forever. So grab it and enjoy. Aaron and Dusty Stanzik, welcome to the Urban Pharmacy Podcast. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Yeah, thank you so much us. for having us, Stacey. We're excited to be here. It is awesome to meet you guys. Finally, I've been following you for years on social media. Thanks to um, yeah. the connections in the plant-based world. I found you guys and I was like, you guys are awesome. You're so inspiring. And I want to get your message out to the world because people need to know about you. Um, so yes, absolutely. So before we get into just some questions about what you do, how you found mm -hmm. this path and how we can follow you and, um, get into your ecosystem, mm -hmm. I want to know how you guys met. Can you share yeah. that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, not a question we often get asked on podcasts. So it's always fun to have something new right. and exciting to talk about. Yeah. But um, we met in high school, yeah. actually. Oh. Yeah. We um, we always had mutual friends. In yeah. fact, Dusty was dating my uh, doubles partner in tennis. <laughs> yeah. So we always ran around together on the weekends. But, you right. know, we were just we never were like oh, that. Like, we weren't like in love with each other we were like dating other people yeah. and so yeah we kind of lost track honestly and then bumped into each other 
probably five years later, mm -hmm. um, near the end of college, we both went to the University of Nebraska in Lincoln, where we're from. And it was after finals, we were at a bar and we bumped into each other and the rest is kind of history. We, we like it back up. So. We just missed the whole like dating apps and dating <laughs> right. websites. And we actually did it the old fashioned old way, fashioned dating. but we were communicating on Twitter back and forth. We were tweeting each other after right. that, which is kind of funny because now social media is like what we do for a living. Instagram yeah. wasn't even a thing. And <laughs> for some reason, I don't know if we got originally connected through Twitter or if it was the, the we bumped into each other on the, at the bar first but we were like yeah this is it was fun it was oh fun my gosh sure. so. that's awesome I love it that's also unique so you guys were you were in college together but you really never saw each other like no no, no. I, we were University always just like we were always like one person away from right. each other right. it was Mutual so nice. friends. Oh we were gosh. at the same part like we not even realizing it, we were like at the same parties all the time. I wow. I was it was crazy. So yeah, but we, you know, and we probably saw each other, but like you know, again, being from the University of Nebraska is a huge university, mm -hmm. so like we, you probably see people you know like all the time, but it's just right. whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was we like, read we both when we got together read this book called Three Feet from Gold, and yeah. now I think back oh and I'm like we were gosh. always three feet from gold, like we never realized wow. it with each other. It's <laughs> interesting when you think back, like how you live these like separate but like super. It, we even lived like less than a mile or two from each other. Like, yep, and our, our dads parents. were friends. Apparently, our dads were friends, and now our moms are best friends, which is yep. even more bizarre. <laughs> Whose mother in laws are best friends? Right. <laughs> Crazy. So, oh my yeah. gosh well that's just that's an awesome story I'm glad I asked you yeah that. yeah um, thanks for <laughs> so your guys's brand is eat move rest and yeah well, let's kind of break that down Aaron it sounds like you played tennis and were active yeah 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 years same with yep. you Dusty? yeah I played baseball since I can remember i you know, was always athletic. If I wasn't playing baseball, I was playing something else, you know, I basketball, you name it. Um, if I wasn't doing it, you know, organized, I was in the backyard or in the front yard shooting hoops, you know, on my bike, we were both athletic. And I think that's what kind of brought us together actually was that, you know, we were kind of over the going out thing in yeah, college. And we yeah. were like, Aaron was was at the gym all the time and I was on my bike all the time and we we're like hey let's let's work out together let's do something healthy together and there was of a, there was definitely a gap though between high school where parents are like okay you have to choose either a sport or a right. club or band right. and like sports please sports <laughs> right, right you know and then getting to college and not having mom and dad helicoptering over me forcing you to do anything no longer going to the gym for entirety yeah. of freshman and part of sophomore year so right eventually I was like wow I get why mom and dad wanted me to do that so then we kind of both were getting active and kind of yeah. came together a little bit yeah yeah and All it was right. perfect because we both you know we were we were both long and lean like you just nothing we could really do you know about how we were built but I'm like I need to get big. I need to get buff. I need to get strong, all these things. And, and so I was always in the gym and, and again, same with you, you were like, yeah, let's, let's go work out together. And, and we realized we're like, ah, maybe we're just cardio people. So we started running and started riding bikes and either way, we're just having fun, you know, doing, doing stuff yeah. together. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, you guys are super inspiring and, um, I think it's awesome that your brand, which I want to dig, we're going to dig more into it, but like, um, I think it's cool that it's holistic. I mean, I, I really like to teach holistic living and to a lot of people that means a lot of different things. Right. And I yeah. always ask, I always ask my guests at the end, I'm like, what does holistic living mean to you? Um, yeah. and it really, it does mean different things to different people, but, um, you guys are taking a multidimensional approach to wellness. And I think it's really awesome yeah. and important. Um, so let's get more into the eat a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Um, what happened with your guys's diet? Were you always plant-based eating mm -hmm. lots of plants? Uh, who found this lifestyle first? Right. How did that right. all well, in that little gap in college where we kind of both derailed, it's like, <laughs> especially for me, I started having a lot of 
very disheartening symptoms that just compounded so quickly. Um, everything it started, you know, just like anxiety and kind of nervous and anxious and stress just because I think hangovers, things like that, eating unhealthy, staying up super late, being sleep deprived, not seeing the sun, all of these things right. compounded. And I'm like, I like these feelings. And I started to feel also like a lot of brain fog. I had started to gain weight, which shocked me because I was like, oh, I have a high metabolism. I don't need to worry about food and all that stuff yep. and hormonal imbalances and acne and mood swings. And then I was placed on hormonal birth control, which just further compounded all of these issues. And then it was like numbness and tingling. And just like, I was already this socially anxious, awkward person. So like all of this made it even more difficult to just like be in the world and be around people when I'm trying to figure out who I am in college. Right. And so it was all really scary, but, um, my dad being a doctor and my uncles and my grandpa being physicians also, it's like, Hey, you know, if I have an issue, I can really easily ask somebody and they'll line me up with the right specialist or test. So it's like, so you several, went them all. Yeah, MRI, CT scan, being the type A, I'm like, let's just check all the boxes. Let's get everything checked out. And it was, but it yeah. was bad. I think I could yeah. speak to like, mm -hmm. we were flying to San Diego. And, and again, this is early on in our relationship. We'd been dating for a year, you know, or two, maybe, um, no, definitely not two years. It was early on. And we had, to, you had like a massive panic attack. You couldn't feel your leg. It was like numb and ambulance to the hospital. Like it was ruining, it was like ruining Aaron's life. And and also obviously hard for me to watch too. And so I remember one day you were like, I'm going in for the CT scan. She was convinced she had MS or something because all the symptoms were that way. And so doctors are lining her up for these tests. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like, dating this girl now and all of a sudden I legitimately remember like being on my knees like praying for her and because I was so scared too I'm like this is debilitating for her and and I would literally you know lose sleep a string for strings of days on end uh, you yeah. know waking up breathless and just not being able to like catch a deep enough breath and I think that became like the worst part of it was like those nighttime like oh, yeah. spells. It makes everything worse, you know, the next day. And a then... lot of people think that it's just like a physical manis manifestation of your anxiety. And then you can also look at it from this super scary, like spiritual standpoint, like, am I being right. oppressed or something? Right. Is there something that needs to get out of me? Right. Right. I felt dense and I don't know how to put it any other way. Yeah. Um, so, and we know. tried working it out, right? You can't, right. We, we learned that you can't out train a bad diet. I similarly, you know, I had acid reflux at this point. We we're what, like 25, mm -hmm. just, just out of college. And so, and, and yeah, I had acid reflux. I was on two medications for digestive issues and we're both young. We're like, why in the world are we struggling like this? We should feel better. <laughs> And like Aaron said, we were dense. And so we tried to exercise it away and it didn't work, you know, and like Aaron always says, you can't out train a bad diet. Um, we turned it to, to our diet. I think, yeah. And I think the first thing was obviously like, okay, well, maybe we need to try like drinking less, like let's at least do like red wine instead of <laughs> bellying up to old Chicago, where we had our world beer tour cards. Right. We were no longer you know, college kids, but we were still college kids. Like. But having each other, I think, was so critical, and like it, it was what made it able, made us able to make that decision because we right. did it together. Yeah. So we did. We stopped with all the binge drinking, and then yeah. slowly, it's like you think you're thinking more clearly, so you don't call yeah. and get the two a.m. pizza delivery. Right. Um, so we started, you know, experimenting more with our diet. Like Dusty said, like, let's just eat the cleanest possible of every source, Meat, whether it's yeah. plants or animals, let's just clean it all up. Yeah. Trader Joe's had just come to town and they had a lot of like upgraded, healthier options than where we were shopping before. Right. Um, the grass, you know, the grass fed beefs and the right. free range right. eggs and chickens and all the things. And so we were like, oh, nice. Like this is, this was the next step because again, we, we had our fitness dialed and we were lean. We like, we looked good. Right. But mm -hmm. on the inside, we just weren't, you know, we, we didn't yeah. feel well. And so we were like, thought we were doing well with all of these cleaner animal products. And mm -hmm. turns out we weren't still weren't and as, then as we could. Um, my uncle, who's a cardiologist was vegan at the time. And we were in this place where we yeah. were just like, the 
if anyone's vegan, we made fun of them. Basically, oh, yeah. my best friend in college had gone vegan. I gave her such a hard time. Right. My uncle and I was like, oh my gosh, he's lost his mind. And right. You know, he was in in it for a couple of years and invited us to go listen to a doctor speak at a local hospital, just like 30 minutes outside of town. Right. And so my whole family, we all went together and listened and it turned out to be Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn. Ah! It was like a huge pioneer right, <laughs> in right. the plant-based movement. And But it, it hit hard, especially for Aaron, because you got in while you were doing all these tests, your, your blood work came back and you had high cholesterol again in our mid twenties. Wow. Both of her parents um, have a history of heart disease. Both of your parents are healthy and fine, but it's, you know, the history, whatever they were like, yeah, well, we'll just put you on a statin drug. And you're like, how long? And they're like forever. And you're like, wait, what? I'm like, I didn't think medications worked that way. I thought they yeah. could just like make me better magically. Right. And then I could go on with life, but to have it be like this continual, like wound that you're continuing to put a new bandaid on every day doesn't make sense. Like let's heal it. From and we didn't really know until we, then we heard Dr. Esselstyn say all this stuff. And having my biology degree, you know, like that's what resonated with me was like, you can't argue with the facts Yeah. And what yeah. these slides he's showing us. And so that was just, I think it was exciting because it's like, well, now we have a something to try and see, we have nothing to lose. So let's at least, yeah. you know, try it. We went, decided to go plant-based or just, we just went vegetarian for 40 like, days. Let's cut out the meat. For 40, it was Lent. Lent was right around the corner. And we're like, cool, that's okay. perfect time. Let's <laughs> let's cut out the meat. And um we did. We felt better than ever. You know, my reflux went away basically. And yeah, day 41, you know, right after I went, I went back to the drive-through. You know, we're the, we live in the beef state, you know, Omaha steaks and, and all yeah. these things. And so we've got all this good food. And I admit, like. I was done. I'm like, cool, back to my old way of eating. And not surprisingly, I started feeling like crap again. So, and that's just, we kind of went at it from like the diet culture standpoint. Right. Like, this is just like a milestone to achieve. And then we can go back to how we were. And, yeah, but we realized like, hey, A, we didn't die. B, we felt better. <laughs> right. Like, it's doable. So, C, let's, let's try let's it again. Do it again. Yeah. yeah. And the, the meat, we can just leave it out of our grocery shopping and, We'll go from there and slowly the other things kind of fell away too and the eggs were the last to go right and you know we kept going in for routine blood work and my cholesterol was still crazy high yeah so i'm like fine i'm gonna give up the eggs i don't want to but i'm gonna right not knowing where i was gonna get my protein and right. all of that myth um but cut the eggs and my blood work was completely normal after that and i would have been what um, plant-based doctors would consider the heart attack proof range for my cholesterol. Right. Um, so that was proof enough again for me to just continue down that path. And, and every... then we found out like, well, eggs had like one egg has more cholesterol than like a quarter pounder does. And we're like, whoa, like you start to figure out all these things and and then you and then you do some research on like, well, what about like the got milk ads, you know, in elementary school and like eggs are this, are the, like the, this miracle food that have everything we need. And then you start looking, you know, we, we were going to conference we had started going to conferences too, um, to learn about this stuff. And, and they're like, well, you guys need to look at like, who's funding these studies. And so we did that. And it's like, oh yeah, this, and the these got milk ads are funded by the dairy foundation and all this stuff and we're like oh okay so maybe it's all a scam and maybe we all we just need to like go back to the basics and i think that was a big big thing shift for us and so you know whether someone decides they want to do like i know it's really trendy right now to do the like raw milk and yeah. all of that kind of stuff and the organ meats and it's like that's probably definitely better than like what you're most people are buying at the grocery store. Yeah. Um, but we just found like we like we like our odds best on this diet and it's working. And we kind of feel like yeah. if we don't need it, why eat it in regards yeah. to animal products? And we feel like we've been thriving since then. And you know, it's like our physical fitness, like our internal fitness now mirrored and matched our physical fitness. Right. And so there wasn't that internal density and like. Um, heaviness anymore and yep. honestly so many of those scary disheartening symptoms just started to fall by the wayside slowly but surely and I think another exciting part of all of that was just like the feeling so empowered 
And mm -hmm. so certain like, Hey, I'm doing a good thing for myself. And that makes me feel good. And I am much happier on the inside. And I think mm -hmm. like a lot of us are like, I'm sick, but I'm like, why would we expect you know, for me, at least says like, why should I expect to feel good when I'm not doing good things for myself, you know, right. back in my twenties. Right. And right. I don't know why that didn't dawn on me sooner. It's like put good in, then you'll get good out. And that's what began to happen. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a powerful story. I, I don't think I knew all of the ins and outs there. Like, I'm so glad that you're feeling better yeah. here and that you guys have gone on this journey together and you're both feeling better and, and vibrant and healed. And that's incredible. Yeah. So glad. I mean, yeah, 20 is so young for high cholesterol. Yeah. Numbers. Um, it's common. Right. It's more common yeah. than for, for this to, for that to be the truth, but for somebody so active, yeah. right. That's typically yeah. you don't see that. So, um, yeah, and I will just say that Caldwell Esselstyn has definitely been a huge, a huge influence in my life as well. Um, I'm going to have him on my podcast and I'm so oh, excited. Good. Um, nice. I've interviewed Jane and Anne already and oh, met nice. them multiple times, but I did go to see Caldwell years ago at the Cleveland clinic. And that was oh, when wow. I was like, and I had already been plant-based like for, for, I don't know, maybe five years at that point. Yeah. But then I was like, Whoa, he like opened up a whole, like, New yeah. thought pattern scientifically. And I was just like, this is crazy. Awesome. So yeah. yeah. I will also, I will also just mention, um, and Aaron, I'm glad that you brought it up um, in terms of anybody that might be listening to this um and feeling like they want to just kind of take their health back. Uh, I think you did make a good point. If you do, if you do choose to continue to eat animal products, like uh, like you guys did at the beginning, you were sourcing better, right? Like that that's so important. Um, yeah. and also to just make sure that you're finding as clean of sources of everything that you possibly can, especially if you're feeling horrible, but yeah. um, more you lean toward plants, the more beneficial potentially, totally. right. Uh, for, for our sure. entire cardiovascular system, our gut microbiome and so much more. So I have a question. Have you ever wished that your gut health or your skin health were better? Well, I have an amazing solution for you and a solution that has helped me, my gut, and my skin. Enter Oliveda or Olive Tree People. This is a waterless, holistic European brand that helps to elevate your health and your skin from the inside out and outside in. It's truly from tree to beauty. What I mean by that is that everything that I have been taking internally and been using on my skin, on my hair, on my body is actually based off of the olive tree. Most of the products are based off of the highly anti-inflammatory ingredient, olive leaf extract, and others are based on the cold pressed Arbicana olive oil, which has its own benefits as well. Now, if you go do a quick PubMed search and look up olive leaf benefits or olive leaf extract benefits, it will be staggering what you find. Anywhere from viral issues to bacterial issues to inflammatory issues and cancer prevention to helping our skin health, our glow, and more. There is so much efficacy behind the Healing Olive Tree. And once I found this brand, I knew immediately that I had to become involved. I knew immediately that I needed to share this with you and I knew immediately that it was going to be part of my healing journey. And it truly has been. So what I've been doing is taking this Orac Camu Camu olive leaf concentrate plus vegan hyaluronic called the beauty molecule, which helps to plump the skin and support the gut. I've also been drinking ground olive leaf matcha or the olive mush, which is an adaptogenic mushroom coffee, which is great because of the ergothionine, that is cancer preventative, plus the adaptogens in there that helps your body combat stress. Those are the internals that I suggest everybody starts to look into and start to take because of the benefits of the olive leaf. And everything, again, that I've been taking is based on the olive leaf. Now, some of the things that I've noticed with my health from the internals is that my cycle is actually regulated. I feel so much less inflamed. 
And I'm not having histamine responses anymore from specific foods. Now, when it comes to my skin, I have been using the serums, the elixirs, the cleansing oil, the regeneration cream. It is incredible. And not only have I been getting the glow up from these topical products, but so have my clients and my teammates. I want you to know about this brand because it can be a pivotal change that you need to help you support your overall holistic health and to make you feel more confident in your skin. If you want to elevate your complexion, you must try the skin products. If you feel overwhelmed when you click on the show note link down below and you're like, I don't know where to start, just click the quiz link. I will label it clearly so that you can take the quiz. It will recommend six products, including one internal that you can start to use to help elevate your gut and your skin immediately. If you purchase two, at least two of the recommendations from the quiz, you will receive a free full-size eye product as well. Now, you know where to find me on social media if you have any questions on where to start with Oliveda, but please check it out because I know that this can be pivotal for your health and others. If you wanna get involved, consider joining me. I just joined five months ago and it was the best decision that I've ever made. This brand is 20 years old in Europe, but brand new to the US. And I wanna be able to share it with you and you should want to share it with other people because it is so groundbreakingly helpful for health and for skin. If you wanna get involved or learn more about joining, just click down at the join link in the show notes and you can explore that. All right, without further ado, let's get back to the episode. I want to now hear from you guys. Was it because of this transformation that Aaron went through and you, Dusty, as well, um, that you got inspired like enough that you're like, maybe we should share this with other, maybe we should teach right. people. Like, where did your business come? Yeah. Like, how did that all start? Like, yeah, I think that we built such a solid foundation educating ourselves from the physicians and the nutritionists. And then it's like, uh, you, along the way, you're like, how do we actually make recipes to replace the old ones? So for that, we were always turning to like Pinterest and then I'd stumble upon a blog. Yeah. And then eventually it was like, YouTube's even easier because now I can see somebody doing it in their kitchen right. and I don't have to read this whole thing. And so like we developed like a group of favorites of people that we subscribed to and kept watching and watching and watching. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, you know, I want to express myself, you know, yeah. so we started website and blog and then Instagram, it became so popular. And it's right. like sharing, like if you didn't post it, you didn't eat it. So it's yeah. like everything, like all the pretty smoothie bowls and all of that friends from high school started asking, Hey, what's that green smoothie recipe you guys have been drinking? Right. Like, does it really taste good? Or do you just say that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like the more people kept asking, the more we kept posting sharing and developed some traction yeah. and then for new year's one year our favorite podcaster rich roll was like my new year's resolution is video i right. want to get on youtube yeah. and i was like i like that because it scares me because being this shy person i'm like i just know that i want to be like some of these youtubers right but i'm too scared so that means we have to do it totally <laughs> yeah and i was excited i'm like okay my brother's a professional video photo video guy and I'm like, cool. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can buy a camera. We can, you know, I'll be behind the camera. You'll be in front of the camera. And so we made a good team and, and we, we learned a lot and now we can't go back and watch those first videos because they're so oh awful gosh. and, and hilarious. But before we knew it, you know, we've, we've got over 150,000 YouTube subscribers and, and it's our full-time gig. And we're like, how did this even happen? And like, we, okay. like we mentioned um, before, the before we started we got a book deal and it's like it just is it's rolling it's like a steam yeah. engine and it's like this started not because we wanted to make money we legitimately had good good jobs but like Erin was said she just wanted to share these with friends and I feel like it, yeah it was like you know like kind of paying it forward like this yeah. worked for me like yeah. I just want to shout it from the rooftops because all of a sudden this like 
these scary things lifted and I was no longer like, yeah. oh my gosh, what disease is this? What is wrong with me? And I was like, what is right with me? And like, how oh. can I share it? Yeah. And that was just so empowering and exciting. So we had to get it out there, but also being super creatively driven individuals, like yeah. wanting to figure out how to like create a beautiful piece of videography and edit it. And then yeah. like even the photography and the bold pops of colors like you could see behind yeah. us. And this candle. You guys definitely do. <laughs> she's reaching. She's it's so just, proud of this. I'm just candle. like, I just want this. I want to be this beautiful candle. That is, yeah. you know, that coral, I'm telling you what, that coral with the fuchsia, <laughs> that is like a vibe. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a, a literal vibe. vibe. Yeah. Um, you guys have, you're so good at branding yourselves mm -hmm. with those bright colors. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, I, I was just, I kind of go through phases in my life, but like right now I'm in this like neutral phase and I'm like, right. uh, all of my colors come from like the plants that I surround myself with, whether it's on my plate yeah. or whether it's Love like that. what we're growing on our farm or like what, um, just the food, right? Like the yeah. food yeah. and then everything else is very plain, but like you guys are like, it's just it's the whole vibe. It's like yeah. your outfits are bright and, and <laughs> pictures are bright and it's, it's awesome. And it, it's really good branding, by the way. It's just good. I worked with oh, them for thank you. three years and like, she would just be like, oh, their brand is so good if she were to see you guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> so when did you start your YouTube? Oh, How long ago was that? Gosh, I'd have to look. Was it 2015? No. because That was way too long ago. No, it was. 17? I, we don't we started we should, like, like oh. eat move rest became eat move yeah. rest in 2015 okay. so okay. it had to be okay. maybe like three years after that or so 2018 is okay yeah. so you guys so started eat move rest and what were you doing with eat move rest before you started with youtube just it just blog. started as like like a, yeah. the blog was oh well, the we, blog Right. We yeah. had completed our series of conferences and um, became certified health and lifestyle coaches. Yeah. So um, eat, move, rest. We're just like, it's the three things that we all were doing every day that everyone could all be doing a little bit better. So let's make that our brand, our blog. Right. You know, so we don't just have to share recipes and just preach nutrition. But, yeah. you know, we really realized that so much of our healing came from doing all three better and being yeah. more balanced. Like you said, holistic lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so but and and Erin was really great at that she was like yeah you know I love obviously love making the food so so we went we traveled for a couple of years and got these certifications we learned from all the top doctors but our favorites were like the, the chefs um Chad Sarno I think was one of these vegan chefs and then you did a raw food course we would go wow. to LA and New York City and we would eat at these epic places and then Aaron would recreate it and take this amazing photo and put the blog together. And like you said, it was more creative probably than, than anything. And yeah, so it, we did that for probably just a couple of years. And then that morphed into, you know, Instagram, like we said, it, the Instagram started with cat photos and then it like <laughs> turned into a big thing. And because uh, you had four cats, we should also yeah. mention when we got together, <laughs> I have four cats. Nice. I feel well. Lovely. Aaron had four in a seven hundred square foot apartment oh God. <laughs> down downtown yeah. Lincoln, where yeah. we're from. They were my babies, and then yeah. yeah, so it went from cats to smoothie bowls. Yeah. And then people, one of my girlfriends, remember, she's like, "Wait, just wait till you have kids. Your feed is gonna turn into all babies." No, it's <laughs> like all kids, it right. did, but like there's still the food component it's right. fun because as we became a family, it's like our channel kind of blossomed and grew a lot more right because i think it made us even more relatable to more people yeah so yeah i guess back to the main question when did it start yeah it's it started then but youtube youtube's been like what six or seven yep. years yeah yeah i'd say youtube's been six or seven years so and at what point were you guys able to um make monetize yeah. Well, yeah. monetize. I mean, were you monetizing on Instagram and your blog before YouTube? No, honestly, really. like I, I just, I want the blog to be pretty. So I never put any like ads or anything on right. it. And I just right. never really, my, I husband, like, I don't... Yeah. my husband keeps telling me I need to put paid things on my blog. And I'm yeah. like, first off, yeah. I haven't written on my blog for like, a, I don't know, Right. Maybe I put some <laughs> recipes in there randomly, but I'm like really bad at taking <laughs> recipes from Instagram, putting them on my blog. Like, you know how much. Yeah, it's so, so much work. And, yeah. and I'm like, honestly, I don't have that much traffic that having ads on there is just going to make it not pretty. Like, oh, I, yeah. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. not, 
I'm not trying to make hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars on my blog. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys were not, and then you got on YouTube and yeah. started pulling in followers. I mean, a hundred thousand followers, right. 150,000, you guys, that's incredible. That's yeah. so amazing. Um, and then you were able to walk away from your jobs at one point. Like, where did that, you know? Yeah. I think it started just like genuinely sharing like Product our favorite liked. protein, like Sun Warrior would pop up in our smoothie recipe. And I would also, it'd be on YouTube and I'd post it and tag them on Instagram. And that was the time where like they would repost you and you'd get like yeah. so many followers or forks over knives would repost the good you. old days. When and it so then oh like gosh. sometimes like it yeah. started out like, Let's reach out to these brands and like, we'll, you know, it was just like product exchange. So they would send us a product in exchange for like a post or a mention or a share. And then eventually it became like affiliate commission, like, oh, we'll give you 20% commission for every sale you make. Here's your link, all of that, which we still do that a lot because um, everybody wins. We get to give yeah. people a discount, our followers the brand gets recognition whereas they wouldn't because they're not like mainstream most of these are just like you know like yeah fringe companies that are you don't see them like you said yeah. on on anywhere else and so right. we're like well we were telling we were doing some coaching i guess we started a little bit with coaching because yeah, that's, that's what we like ask. went where did you guys really yeah start coaching and then yeah you kind of we were so we were doing a little bit of that after we had done the certifications we started getting a few followers one video in particular that you just Aaron like kind of opened up and shared all this we got like 50,000 subscribers in a matter of a couple of weeks um and so we're like wow let's let's maybe we could do something with this. So we started doing some coaching. It wasn't a real money maker. Again, it was like, Hey, let's see if we can help a few people. Right. Um, and then we were like, what about a retreat? Mm -hmm. I think that was maybe the uh, first like financial yeah. endeavor for, for us besides sharing the brands and stuff with like our coaching clients. Um, we were like, Hey, sun warrior, we've got these coaching clients, you know, or, Hey, we're going to host this retreat. Would you want to send us free product mm -hmm. or a discount code? And I think that's kind of how it started. These brands were like, uh, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. How long so, have you guys yeah. been doing retreats? I forgot that you do that. That's that's you guys have yeah. done some amazing retreats. Well, max is five. And the first retreat we hosted, I actually, we committed, we old. took scrounged all of our money together and put in a thousand dollar deposit to hold secure our week long spot at this retreat right. center where like, I was like, Dusty, I've wanted to go here for so long. And this, this other person that was hosting there had dropped out. Our mutual friend was there at the time with the owners of the retreat center was like, yeah. there's an open week. Do you guys want me to connect you with them? We're like, uh, sure. I'm and scared. Like, oh, yeah. And then they're like, we think you guys can do it. We think you can host and fill a retreat. And we're like, we're glad you guys believe in us because we don't believe in us. We right didn't now. have. I feel and, like we had a few, like maybe we had a few thousand followers, maybe 15, ten or fifteen, and I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. So, wow. but we were like, okay, well, let's let's go for it, and we sold it out, and we were wow. like, okay, and then found out Aaron was pregnant, and we we're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a baby on this retreat in Costa Rica. We and convinced like, Aaron's mom to come and help babysit. Yeah. We said we were going to be those people we were inspired by that traveled with their newborns. Right. And so that was our opportunity to prove it to ourselves. And at that point, our moms decided, yeah. hey, these guys aren't all talk. No. Every every crazy notion they have becomes a reality. So right. They it. ended up coming with us. Um, we pranked out seven since then. Yeah. So in, yeah. in five years, I think we've done seven in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. um, that have just been amazing. Seven sold out. Um, it's so cool, though, because everywhere we go now, Max will be like, we'll be driving in the car and he'll look out the window and be like mom that looks like Costa Rica and I'm so oh, glad that he like recognizes the natural beauty in the world and like wow. thinks it's to so that pretty. It's like so pretty. it's actually being absorbed right that he's gonna be like a cool little hippie kid someday I love yeah. that I love that yeah. yeah and that's awesome I mean I don't know if you guys travel <laughs> overseas like as young children right like or, or travel very much no. and that, that must be just really awesome to oh, yeah. be able to give that to your kids and to right. uh, and for him to already be recognizing that at five years old like yeah. that's so awesome. our kids are like Liv is two and a half um besides acting like she's you know 12 and a half oh yeah she's she's wise and smart and max too people would be like when that little boy looks at you like he looks into your soul and and it's like 
some people have said it's because they're they're vegan diets you know they're like wait but they never consume death they've never eaten meat so they're they're awake they're fully there other people are like it's because they guys take them everywhere they've, they've traveled they've seen so much whatever it is yeah we're super excited to be able to do that for them and hope that we can continue if not we at least have video footage like we used to be cool we used to take places and do <laughs> this stuff. is our first you guys year we can had do it to... with your three with your three yeah. children i've you can, right. you can do it. You guys can do it. Like, and it, I told, I told Dusty, you know, we have at least two years where the new baby will still be a lap child where I think it'll be okay. Yep. <laughs> like yep. let's just cram in more travel and keep the ball rolling that way. But I have to cancel this March just because it's so close to my due date. Yeah. But we do plan to expand beyond Costa Rica to Europe is on our list. Australia. We had Bali planned and then COVID ruined that. We've had Italy planned um that that kind of fell through and so we've got a bunch and i think that yeah. like we've really seen things unfold in such an organic way which right. is funny like being these like all organic people yeah. but um so it started with like you know the individual coaching and being like gosh it's so time consuming it's rewarding but like how can we reach more of our followers yeah. on a massive scale so then it was like the retreats got right. there a little bit more and like we got to connect with people who us and we got to know them on such a deep level so quickly right and now with our online membership it's like yeah. we're able to expand our reach and connect with more of our audience in an intimate way and so i think yeah. we're finding a lot more value in that as opposed to like so many of the one-on-ones mm -hmm. um it's just yeah. been really and because we get to see our own followers making friends with each other and so then cool. connecting and getting Community. together without us there you know that's amazing yeah. that's amazing Community, I think, is so important, like on this wellness journey, guys. For and sure. like, it's so important that it's one of my pillars. I have five pillars, and one of them is success environment. And that's not just yeah. everything, everything you have in your home and all, all of all the things that you see on a daily basis and all of that stuff, but it's also the people, right? Like it's totally. so for sure important. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, our we've got a private Facebook group, and that alone, like in our membership, is just it's just mind-blowing to me like these people are friends with each other and they're sharing nutrition and like some, one girl is like an expert on Crohn's because she's healed her Crohn's disease and right. I'm not an expert on that so I'm so thankful we have people in the community that are all contributing to each other and it's not just us I get a text like every day from again a, a follower or a coaching client this, this gal Diane I didn't tell you last night I've I, I honestly we hear from so many people it's hard to keep up diane's husband has and i told her to go we did a coaching call and shared some things long story short short they live near kansas city she found a vitamin c uh IV clinic for cancer patients and i'm hearing from her all the time and, and again what Aaron said with the facebook it's like wow here we were years ago saying we're the only vegans in in southeast nebraska even though you know it's we live in the two cities there's still nobody like us we're like we need to create this community and here now we've created one that we can't even keep up with and it's super exciting so you guys just launched this membership right recently just launched it and it's and it's doing so well like that i can't even find things on the facebook page because they're, wow. they're moving so fast so wow. yeah so what what do you guys offer in this membership um be just membership to our app but we're like we want it to be more inclusive than just the app so you get instant access to our meal planner and recipe app which is super great because it's always growing and being added to we just also added um, our workouts to it and some mindfulness and meditation tracks and some nutrition articles so it's very well balanced but then also you get access to our entire ebook this is a three-day juice feast detox protocol and then um, the private facebook group where we do weekly live stream q a calls and then we do monthly zoom coach we've even started physicians yeah. and we plan on having like other nutrition experts maybe like some personal trainers things like that kind yeah. of get more expert opinions on there yeah just moved to the area that we had on the other day and so that's super fun too you know just people that who has access to a plant-based doctor you know basically nobody right. so right. so it's cool to be able to offer even if it's 30 minutes or an hour it's cool to be able to have people up on ask 
ask the doc or whatever. And yeah, it's Absolutely. it's pretty. Cool. Oh yeah, and we just led a I led a live work with right. the group too. I think we'll keep doing that too. Yeah, yeah. A live what? I'm sorry, it kind of cut out at that point. Uh, work yeah, out. sorry. Live yeah. workout. Oh, live workout. workout. I was wondering. Yeah. yeah, I was curious about that. I was like, because you guys do eat, move, rest, and I know that on your app you probably have exercises right like Aaron you teach yep you have like recorded yep. stuff right yeah yes yep. so so far we've just got a handful of those but after this baby comes out I told Dusty I was like I'm hitting the workout stuff we're gonna start doing more work videos right. maybe possibly starting a separate YouTube channel for fitness but yeah we'll there's, see how much time we have <laughs> Aaron did a treadmill workout a few years ago and it got like what a half a million views it's got so, almost a million views now and i that i can People vouch love that this treadmill. i i used to do that one myself yeah so <laughs> wow. it's 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 really fitness is, is really where we're at that on on youtube right now but mm -hmm. amazing you know we never planned this we we just wanted to help people sharing like you said the the information and, and it's we get to live in a time now where anybody can create from home and that's super fun and exciting so it's you you mentioned entrepreneurship that's the next you know thing for us is we want to you know now create a, a, a course membership something for people to learn how to be their own boss work from home yeah. and create create income love it. with what they love so love it i i used to offer something like that. And I will tell you that's going to go well because yeah. it's actually, um, it was like a high ticket offer, um, yeah. where I had multi, uh, two calls every single week. Um, it was also, uh, once a month, one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, just yeah. private. Um, and then they had access to all of the wellness content. So it was, it was called holistic. Yeah. It was called Holistic Entrepreneur Society. So it was like, I like that wellness content. But then I taught them one of the live calls was business and like how to how to drive that business forward. But you and I right. both, we all know that unless you're taking care of yourself, you're not going to be able to continue on this entrepreneurial journey, right? Totally. Um, and and like continue to show up for yourself every day if you're not well. So they go hand right. in hand. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that that's so awesome that you guys are going to offer your insights on how you've been successful. I think that so many people want to know that, especially as, I don't know, just after the last three years, people have really, I feel like yeah. a lot of people have realized maybe how much being at home with family, is, you know, how right. being at home with family is and creating their right. life design because you just never know what's going to happen and right. um, all of that. So yeah. um, can you share... Where can we find you guys? I mean, I'm going to put all of your stuff down in the show notes, but yeah. how do we follow you? Because there's lots of ways. Yep. Yeah. Um, the easiest way to find everything is eatbreast.com. But also, I mean, we're very active on a daily basis on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. We answer all of our DMs in and at there. Eat breast. That's probably the best way to find us first mm -hmm. at eatbreast. And then you can usually find both of us, but on yeah. our personal accounts is where we're most active. Yeah. Um, and then our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash eat move rest. Yep. Find us on Instagram, send us a message. Like Aaron said, we, we communicate regularly and, and connect on there and it's, and it's fun for us. So I, I feel like I don't even post anymore. I just like share stories and, and talk to, to people, mm -hmm. followers and stuff. And I if you're looking start. for like the where do I start? Like, I'm just ready to get started. Yeah. So we just created a free seven day video guide. So all you have to do is go to our website, eatmoverest.com and type in your name and email yep. and you'll get the seven day free video guide. It's a health transformation guide. Yeah. So that's a place that. to start because we cover like a little bit of everything. Like one day's theme is weight management. The next one is like hormonal health, right. um, being social, being social and being healthy, yeah. you know, that's yeah. difficult to navigate. Totally. There's a lot of different topics. We tried to hit all of the most problematic areas for people. Right. Yeah, definitely. Oh, start awesome. there. That's awesome. You guys. Um, all right. Well, as we kind of wrap this up, I want to ask you both what I told you, I ask every guest, 
Um, and I'm sure you guys will have a little bit different. So Aaron, we'll start with you. Can you tell us what holistic living means to you? I think it means living in better balance. And, you know, some people are like, oh, there's no such thing as balance. But I really, truly think that you can't put all of your eggs in one basket or one nest. I think that, you know, you have to be focused on, like we said, not just the fitness, but right. the diet and the the rest component as well, which isn't just sleep. Right? It's, you know, the mindfulness and spirituality and connection yeah. um, with yourself, with others, with higher power. Yeah. So all of that, I think, develops if you can get it all moving like a train that's at a standstill eventually yeah it gets easier and easier as you develop momentum and i think that's what holistic living is is kind of finding your stride with right. all things i think for me you often say that it's not eat move rest it's eat move and the rest and i think that's where i focus oh. like most of my attention i i had a coaching call this uh this morning with somebody and we were talking Yes, about diet. Yes, about what to eat. But a podcast we did last week, actually, with our friend, um, we were talking about the rest. But like this way of eating, getting healthy, physic healing your physical body just opens you up to the real work, which is like the spiritual realm, like Aaron said. And so for me, holistic means like feeling whole spirit, mind, body, nature, like that's holistic for me is like, how do I feel like one oneness with people, oneness with nature? Costa Rica is amazing for that. Our retreats are amazing because, because you truly feel it there. You're like eating the best food, but you're barefooting, staring at the sun in the water. And you're like, oh my God, I've never felt so alive as a right. spiritual being on planet earth right now. So that's, that's like the tip of the iceberg for me. But when I think of holistic is like jungle man, barefoot, water, naked, healthy, you know, that's, <laughs> that's like the, 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 the main goal, I guess, for me, when I think of holistic really, really experiencing life, like as a human, right. Totally. Like, yeah. And that's just, uh, I love it. I love it. How you guys have pretty different things there, but like, they're yeah. all so beautiful. And I think it's cool because we, we view things differently, but at the, at the core of this, it's just like, how can we really elevate our existence? Right? Like right. How, mm -hmm. how can we really like drop into this life in our best, in our best like version? Um, right. and I think that's what it really all comes down to. Like when we are thinking about what holistic totally. is. so definitely you guys thank you so much for sharing time and space with us and wisdom and knowledge and um, inspiration um i am excited to help other people's other people find your membership now that i know that you've launched that um yeah. and this is just so wonderful do you have any closing thoughts or anything else that you want to share before we wrap it up oh. I, uh, I would say baby steps, you know, if you're trying to get healthier, just be patient with yourself and take it one, not even just one day at a time, but like yeah. one hour, or one minute at a time. And just ask yourself every step of the way, what's the next best choice I can make for myself, whether yeah. it's food, fitness, whatever it might be, just take baby steps because we did not transform overnight. No. And I think that's what made it stick for us and made it sustainable was just allowing ourselves to evolve slowly and steadily over time. And I would say add before you subtract, you always say this too, when it comes to changing your lifestyle, if you try to cut everything out, like I did in the beginning, you're just going to end up starving. You're just, you know, going cold Turkey, whether, you know, it's the food or the fitness, you know, I was at the gym this morning for the first time this year. It's like, I've been sick. We've been busy and I'm like, okay, but there's so many people there like signing up. I could yeah. see them and it's, you know, it's January. So obviously that's, that's a thing, but add the good things in before you start cutting things out or you're just not going to make it, you know? Yeah. So yes, add the, add the green smoothie in before you cut out the meat or whatever. And, and the good will force the bad out in, in what, whatever area you're trying to focus on. So I love that. Good wisdom, you guys. Good insights. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, it was so nice meeting you guys. And thanks for sharing your Yeah, Yeah, it was great getting to chat with you. Yeah, thanks you too. For thanks for having us. For having us. <laughs>
right. Be well.